Sephiroth, wait up! Bring me the black materia. like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it. Kate, meant to tell you before, but the terminal's probably gone. Nibelheim burned down. Okay. Uh, not to worry, though. The terminal is as snug as a bug in a rug. Because Shinra wasn't about to let that facility burn down. Meaning the reactor? Well, that's important, too. But no. I'm no expert on Nibelheim, but what I do know is that it's the only lead we have on that materia. So, not much choice. Yeah. It's this or nothing. We should get going. Cloud? 
stay close, would you? <laughs> I honestly thought I was ready for this, but... <sighs> it's just too real. he got us lost because it looks different so who do you think we built it shinra never mind all that we've got a terminal to find this is needle time you got some business here So those creepy outfits you see all the patients wearing? The company doles them out for free. No, I can't. It's okay. Take all the time you need, all right? Just relax. Resorts. And since I was nearby, I thought I might pop in and check something on the company database. And your companions? Oh, them? They are... I used to live here until, you know... I see. And are you aware of what Nibelheim is now? Nope. No idea. Five years ago, Shinra assumed direct control over this village. It now serves as a treatment center for Mako poisoning. All property rights have been transferred. If that's why you're here, contact special facilities at corporate. They'll be able to help you. Very helpful. Thank you, sir. Ah, but the database. I'll not be a wee minute. I'm sure you're eager to see your hometown, but please, don't stay too long. Question. 
this always been here? Yeah. It totally screams, climb me, doesn't it? So, let's give the poor thing what it wants and see the sights. Hey, don't just... To look at this place, you'd never know. Yeah. <clears throat> so, which one's your house? That one. Oh, looks cozy. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. No, don't worry about it. It's all new to you. That building right there is the inn. Where I stayed five years ago. You got the town hall. The general store. In that there? Tifa's house. So let me guess, this is where you kept a lookout. Huh? Come on, you never came up here hoping she'd wave? Probably. Sounds like something I'd do. If I was in your shoes, I would have been up here all the time. I'm gonna head down. Think I'm good where I am. I'll see you later. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Are you angry? Mm-hmm. At me? Not at you. At everything. Must be nice. To have a friend you've known since you were a kid. Someone you can say, remember the time when? To someone you can reminisce with. I don't have anyone like that. And it feels like I'm being taunted for it. Which stings. More than it should. That is why I want to be alone. Plus, I might take it out on you, and I don't want that. I don't mind. Well, I do, and it'd only make me feel worse. Thank you, though. Really. I'll be down in a bit. See you then. Team a hand today. I can't catch a break. You certainly don't look ill. Passing through, I take it. If you are feeling unwell, though, you'll have to wait. We need to take. Sephiroth thought about it ever since waking up in Corral. 
It just seems like such a bad idea. I mean, what did he think he was gonna do? Fight a famous war hero and win? Well, he didn't. But after moving to Midgar, after making a life for myself, I finally realized where my dad was coming from. He was angry, and he'd had enough. Everything he'd worked so hard for had been destroyed in an instant. All that he'd built for himself, for us, gone. Sephiroth had burned it to the ground. That's why he went, even though he had to have known how it'd end. I see. And like him, I took my pain, my grief, everything I was feeling. I took it all and turned it into anger. Anger that led me to avalanche. <laughs> the problem is, anger doesn't last. So when Avalanche started to become more violent, there wasn't enough left to hold back the fear and the doubt. It was taking a toll. Then you turned up. Have I helped you get through it at all? Yeah, you have. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had the courage to come back here. A lot's happened, but now that we're here, I know this was the right decision, because now I know they rebuilt everything, tried to sweep what they did under the rug and pretend it never even happened. But I won't let them. I can't. Sephiroth and his cruelty. Shinra and their lies. I'm sick of all of it. Hey, remember when we were kids? How you'd, you know, always be looking at me? I, uh, what? <laughs> Every time we made eye contact, you'd look away. And when I tried to talk to you, you'd ignore me. Not surprised. I was a pain in the ass as a kid. I was the opposite. I needed everyone to like me all the time. Part of me still does, I think. I kinda hate that about myself. Gotta get it together.
got to get it together. I'm not sure why that is myself. Maybe it's to mark ones with different symptoms? If you're here to visit someone, I'm afraid you'll have to track them down yourself. We're a bit busy. We've been dealing with so many new patients lately. You think some... Queens. No, Dale. Leave the man alone. I can play Queen's Blood with you, if that's what you want, okay? I'm so sorry. This is Dale. He loves playing Queen's Blood more than anything else in the world. Actually, I don't suppose you would mind playing a match or two with him. Just real quick, I'm not the best player. So I think he's been looking for someone who'll give him more of a challenge. I've ever seen him this happy. It must have been a great match. Oh, shadow blood. Uh, queen. Uh, witch. That's enough, Dale. He has other things to do, I'm sure. Thank you so much for taking the time to play with him. Checkups, treatments, whatever they need. All right, the doctor can see that. Wow, you're doing great today. guys decided to get up and shuffle over here of their own accord, do you? Course not. This is Shinra's doing. First, they raise a whole village because it suits them. Then they build a fake one right on top of it. We can't let those corporate bastards keep getting away with this shit. We gotta do something, right? Hell yeah, you're right. Screw them. That's the spirit. Screw them. We'll make them pay for what they did to y'all's home. Listen, Cloud. I don't know what went down five years ago, but I'm here for you and Tifa. Whatever you need. If it's too much, just say the word. We'll leave. These boys are lucky they got us looking out for them. If Shinra tries anything, I'll make sure they don't succeed. You used to live here a long time ago, right? We'd appreciate it if you didn't cause us any trouble. It's nothing personal, but you shouldn't come back. Nick was talking about. New in town, aren't you? No. Ugh. In that case, you ought to know better than to interrupt a busy chef. Hmm? I can leave. No, no. I don't mind. 
could use someone to talk to anyway. Then again, I sense you're not much of a chatterbox. Go picking on them. Those poor folks have got it hard enough already. Marco poisoning? Yep, I'm no expert, but seems to me that there's two types of it. Hmm, or maybe two types of patients? We give them sponge baths sometimes, and that's when I first saw. Lots of them have these number tattoos. That, and needle marks on their arms. At least I think they are. Although, we do get the odd one that doesn't seem to have either. Wait, that makes it three types then. Or four? What needle marks? From their treatments, if I had to guess. And the numbers? Got any idea what they mean? Not a clue. Certainly gets the gears in your head turning though, doesn't it? A whole bunch of those broke people just showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> As I said, there seem to be two types of those black robed folks. Most have these numbers tattooed on them somewhere, but a few have what look like needle marks dotting their arms as well. Of course, there are those that don't have any such oddity on them at all. Wait, did I say two types just now? Or three? Or four? Or... Oh, uh, don't you worry, though. We're still making sure all our patients get three square meals a day. Together and lift your hands to the sky! Some martial artist named Zangon came up with this exercise. That arms tight to the ears and so something about that place doesn't sit right with me. You mean Shinra Manor? Oh, sorry. No one wants to hear people badmouth their hometown. This isn't my hometown. Not the one I grew up in, anyway. Wonder why they'd go through the trouble of rebuilding it. Uh, come to think of it, it's kind of rude we keep calling them robed guys and stuff. They've got names, right? I keep asking myself, what could Shinra want with all these robed guys? Looks like the reactor's not too far. Hey, Cloud, ever been up there before? Yeah. Oh? Then give me the skinny. What was it like? Was there buttloads of Mako? What about, say, oh, materia? Yep. Right, Some of them even Better form naturally. No way! Naturally? Oh, man! You got my mouth watering! Okay. Get your fingertips together and lift... What are we waiting for? That materia needs me! What are we waiting for? That materia needs me! I know, I know. They can't survive without us looking after them, but... I'm not entirely 
sure why. But let go away. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> so those creepy outfits you see all the patients wearing? <laughs> well, you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Speaking of which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? What? Not interested? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you anyway. She's real pretty. No, beautiful. Kinda depends on the angle. Hmm. She's just great to be around. She from Midgard? Yep. Real city now. Zach. Zach Fair. From Gungaga. Head over heels for Aerith. We fought together as soldiers. You were here with me. Five years ago. You came with me on the mission. I can't believe this! Oh. I should have known it was too good to be true. I only have limited access from this console. Let me guess. Limited doesn't cut it. Nope. But all is not lost. Excuse me, good sir. Would you be so kind as to grant us entry into Shinra Manor? Don't you have clearance for that? Oh, if only. I'm but a wee bottom feeder. Barely have clearance to use the bathroom, me. Be that as it may, I can't let you in there myself. You'll have to ask my boss instead. Meaning the Deputy Commissioner? Or the Commission himself? Let's meet and greet. Deputy Commissioner Murasaki's up at the reactor, conducting an inspection for corporate. He's due back the day after tomorrow, but he hasn't been in touch to confirm. Could be he needs more time. Ah, uh, we can't afford to dilly-dally. Then we'll just have to track him down. Agreed. Thanks for all the help, pal. Take it. Hmm. We gotta get a key card. A guy named Murasaki has it, but he's inspecting the reactor. Well then, you'll need a ninja to accompany you. I'm coming with. Me too. Really? You sure? <laughs> Ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. All right. You sure you're gonna be okay? 
We're going on a hike and getting a key card. What's tough gonna be? You'll still be gone for a while. I'm sure there's nothing you need to take care of? I'm putting you in charge of provisions. But make it snappy. My materia needs me. Your bridge just went in, you know? Might shave some time off the trip. Sounds like a plan to me. All right, reactor word, ho! Huh? 